Hey everyone, so I did the previous look on Golden Summer Eyeshadow, so I'm taking that look from day to night. I'm adding some really heavy eyeliner that I usually wear, and then I am um, mattifying and neutralizing the lips a little bit from the pink. So stay tuned if you want to see how I do my usual eyeliner. Hey everyone, okay, so this is the look that I did earlier. It's the Golden Summer Eyeshadow look. It's very light, but... Um, we're going to play it up a little bit with some eyeliner, so let me show you how I do my eyeliner. Let me scoop this in a little more. Okay, so you can see my eye. So what we're going to be using for eyeliner is we're going to be using Black Track Fluid Line from MAC and Urban Decay's 24-7 um, Light On Eye Pencil in black. This is zero. So this is really creamy, so we're going to be using this in our waterline and this for the outer line. And my eyeliner is usually a process and people are going to make, and it, it might seem like a lot, but it's what I do and how I do to get a perfect eyeliner, which this is not it. We're, I have to fix this one. So I'm going to use the Sonia Kashuk eyeliner, bent eyeliner brush, and then I have a regular 209 MAC just pencil brush. So first we're going to take the Sonia Kashuk one, and I use this a lot, so that's why it looks nasty, but we're going to swirl it in there gonna get a good amount of product and then you can, I always scrape off the excess into because and it also um, it shapes the tip a little more because the shape like if you can see it's really wide right now and it's like yeah it's like I'm gonna I want it to be a little more rounded so I'm gonna do that um, if you're gonna do a winged eye actually let's do that what I always do is I always start out with the wing and then um, get closer I always start with the wing and then I build my eyeliner there, so let's start. Um, so I want my wing to go out like that, so I just build a straight line. What I do is I follow the curvature of my lower line. My lower lash line is right there, so it would naturally go up. So I'm going to follow it up, and then, and it was like a little bump there. So I followed it up, and then I'm going to bring it in, and then I'm going to connect it to my eye like that. So I'm going to fill this all in. really bad in there. It's almost that bad. So try to get some straight lines. Okay, so well, we're going to fix that. Okay, so then I look down and I draw a line straight to the middle because this line's going to be a little thicker. So this, this line right here is thicker than what's going to be in the front. So, draw that line, get a little more fluid line, a little more, and then again, I'm try to shape the brush. And then, um, and then this, what we're going to do from the inner, we're not going to go all the way to the inner corner because this brush still isn't as precise as I want it to be, but we're going to go pretty much you'll see where I go. I stop like right there with this brush. So um, let's continue. And so this, we're not going to thicken it or anything. We're just drawing a really thin line along our lashes. So that's it. And then for the, for the inside, of my eye because I want it to be really precise and I want to do, I guess we're going to do what I usually do, but I guess like an Arab eyeliner and um, and we're going to draw on the, tear, on the tear duct, a little V. So again, this is the really, really thin 209 brush. It's really precise, so I really like it. Um, I don't use it for my whole eye, but it's pretty good. It does its job for this. Okay, so from here, I'm going to draw a V. I hope you can see this. Okay, so I'm just going to bring... Oh, you can't see it at all, can you? So I'm going to do it from here, hopefully. Um, so just draw straight to... Your, like a little thin line, and then it'll naturally meet in your tear duct, and then from the tear duct... 
just draw a straight line out like that. Um, I don't want to be too I don't want it to be too pronounced, just this little and with this little brush you can go into the tear duct and you can do more. So with what's left on this brush, I'm gonna go over here on the edge and I'm gonna make sure that's all filled in and dark. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill and just sweep it across the lower lashes. We're gonna do the inside with the 24-7 pencil. Sorry, it's not very interesting. Um, there's still some product left on this brush, so I guess we'll use that. So we're just gonna sweep it across our lower lashes. It's just, um, and earlier I just put mascara on my top lashes. I didn't put any on my bottom lashes, so I'll go ahead and add mascara whenever I'm done. So our eyeliner is done, but now we need to darken our waterline and go crazy with darkening it. So this is going to look really weird on camera. Sorry. I could do this one handed. My aunt, she just closes her eyes and goes like that. That's how like, they grew up doing it. So. I'm not that skilled, so I don't do it that way. And I got some in my contact. That's great. Okay. So I had some orange on before the lucky eyeliner. Um, from Urban Decay, so it stuck on it a little bit. Okay, so it's a little thicker than I would want on the bottom, so I'm just going to look up and clean it up a little bit with a q-tip so so there we go and then I'm going to there's one eye and I'm gonna go do the other lie lie other lie I'm gonna go do my other eye and then I'm gonna put on Dior Show. I like this mascara, but I also like Lancome Voluminous. This is just what I got today. Um, I usually use that one. It's cheaper and it works really awesome too. And also, I had on my lips earlier, I had like on a pinky lip, but I'll come back and I'll show you whenever I do this eye. Um, I'll show you what's on the rest of my face. Alright, cool. Stay tuned. Bye. Okay, everyone. So I just finished my second eye. I did the same thing. I winged out the eye first and then I brought it thicker up to the halfway point and then I drew a really thin line from the halfway point to my waterline. I used my 209 brush to do the inner corner of my eye because it's really precise and then I took um, the leftover product on both of those brushes and I sweeped it under my eyes. I filled in my waterline with the Urban Decay um, Urban Decay Eyeliner in Zero because it's really creamy and dark. And um, on my lips, because it's different from the first video, um, what I have is I know they're going to look like the same exact color, but I bought both of them, so I have to use them. Um, this one, it's um, Honey Love from MAC and oops, Honey Love and then Underplay. These are the two lipsticks. Um, this one is Underplay. This is the top one, and well, top one, and then this one is Honey Love. This is the bottom one. Um, I have Honey Love on the outside because it's more matte, and um, Underplay is an amplified color, so it's a little more creamy, I guess. Um, and I have that on towards the middle of my lip, and then on top of that, I added Moth to Flame Dazzle Glass. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, and so that's it. That completed my look. So. Here's how I turned my eyeshadow look into a nighttime evening look. So I hope you enjoy. Please rate and comment. And if you like my videos, then subscribe, please. Thanks.